Yo guys, super quick before we get into this video, I want to announce something pretty epic. For the next six months, I'll be working closely with Trust. If you guys don't know who Trust Gaming are, they are a, a gaming company. They provide peripherals, gaming chairs, uh, keyboards, my everything. I'll leave a link below to their website where you can check out all of their stuff, but they have a whole host of different things. For example, uh, their chairs, which... They've actually said that I can give away a gaming chair to one of you guys. If you'd like the opportunity to win one of the chairs that I am currently sat on right now, it's really, really simple. I'll leave a link in the description to a tweet. All you have to do is retweet, leave a like, follow myself and trust, and you uh, you could be entered in, or you will be entered in, should I say. You could have a chance of winning uh, one of these gaming chairs. I am so excited to be working with Trust, uh, and I hope you guys are too. Thank you all for putting me in a position to be able to do something like this. Let's get into the irate your teams. Okay, so happy new year, everybody. Hope you all are going to have a fantastic 2020. Hope you all had a great 2019. Thank you all for all the support in 2019. You guys made my 2019 extra special. And, and I'm very grateful for that. And of course, no matter what special day it is, it's of course Wednesday and it's 4pm, meaning it's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams episode. We're going to start off with Jack's team here. Second pick is in game and tradables are Messi, Kante, Rijkaard, Nesta, De Gea, Simon, 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 uh, Rene Adelaide and Roussillon. I have 100,000 coin stroke raised, but I can grind for more. I'm thinking of getting Hierro from Icon Swaps to replace Sanchez. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, dude. Yes, Hierro is a great shout. I'd get Hierro if I were you. I think that is a fantastic shout straight off the bat. Uh, what else would I look to do with this team? If I were you, I'd potentially look at getting Pires as well. I think Pires would add a lot of uh, dynamic to your team, I think. Um, it'd allow you to, to get full chemistry on that left wing spot. Um, and especially if I look in game, you are playing Simon as a, a central cam. I think Simon would be better as a uh, as a super sub. And then Pires as a central cam, I think would be, uh, it, I think it'd work a lot better in my opinion. Obviously, that's up to you if you're going to be worth, uh, if you think it's worth doing the grind or not. Um, aside from that, I think the team looks pretty solid. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about Rennie Adelaide. I, I just personally didn't like, like the look of his stats. Um, I know he wasn't that expensive. He was only 40,000 coins. But I don't know. For me, these stats just don't look amazing. 72 balance doesn't look amazing. Um, 80 composure is okay, but it's not amazing. 76 finishing's poor. 71 long shots. Realistically, I don't think this card's great. Um, now, of course, you are you have them surrounded by French players and an icon, which makes it really easy to link up. Uh, what I would say, who I think you should probably go with, in my opinion, um, I think a good shout. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult one. Um... I would say it's definitely difficult because in that position, there isn't actually a whole lot of players you can go with. I mean, there's Fekir, but, you know, he can't get his footmas card anymore. Uh, I wonder if there's anyone anyone good in, like, the center forward striker area apart from Griezmann. Um, I mean, you could get... I guess you could get Kevin Gamero or Lacazette. Either would work pretty well. Maybe Ben Yedder, too. There's a few different shouts here. So you could go with uh, this Gamero card. His passing isn't amazing, but he's got a lot better stats. In my opinion, you could go with Gamero and play him as striker, and then Messi is, is left cam. Um, or you could go with Lacazette. Again, same sort of thing. I'd say play him striker, play Messi cam. Uh, you could go with Ben Yedder. He's got a whole host of special cards you could grind towards um, who would be decent at striker or cam. Uh, I would say sort of look to improve Reddy Adelaide though. And also, uh, if you do go with um, with uh, Pires at left wing, you can move Kante over to the left and get everyone on full chemistry then, uh, which would make life a whole lot easier too. So I'd say work towards that. But no, it's a solid team. I think you've got great foundations. Now the next one's coming from Cam Cook. I've got 80,000 coins for improvements. Left centre back, right wing, uh, right back and bench are untradeable. Love the vid keeper. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much, man. If I could read your message, that would probably make, uh, make you know, life a little bit more worth it. Uh, but I appreciate the support, man. Thank you very much. So, uh, I already see straight away what you can do with this team. I, I see straight away the first thing you can do. Now, you've got 80,000 coins for improvements. Your left, center, mid, right here, straight away. The first thing I'm going to say to you, make this man Fabinho. Fabinho, 100%. Now, um, your left centre back, right back, right wing, are and bench are untradeable. So you've got a tradable Abamyang, tradable Decore. I think you could probably get towards the inform Fabinho if you were going towards it. Uh, if I look at the uh, the special versions of Fabinho, his inform one is what 91k. You can definitely get the inform Fabinho at left centre mid. I used him for a long time. Um, you could also then upgrade Abamyang to Insigne, and you've got him on full chemistry as well. Um, 
Obviously, Leroy Sane will be off chemistry at that point, but I think that you're better off getting Ducore and Insigne on chemistry and keeping Sane off chemistry than, than having more players off chemistry, in my opinion. That would also put Robertson on chemistry. Your whole left side, then, apart from uh, Sane, will be on chem. Uh, in my opinion, I went towards doing that, to be honest. Apart from that, I think the team is uh, is really solid. Uh, the next one is from Am Almemadi. I apologise if I messed that up. He says, we've got 80,000 coins uh, and the bench is untradeable. Okay. Bench on tradable, 80,000 coins. Ooh, okay. I mean, you, I like the way you play in game. Uh, it's definitely a solid, solid team. Where would I improve with this many coins? I would improve on this left side. I don't like the look of that Guedes card. Uh, if I have a look, another look at him, I'll look for, for Cam. He might be he might be decent. Don't get me wrong. Good pace. Uh, decent dribbling. Not amazing, but not not horrendous. Like It's, it's, it's very average. Uh, his passing is also very average, in my opinion. Um... Who could you upgrade to with 80,000 coins? I don't think you can afford Hazard, if I'm not mistaken. I know prices have dropped massively, but I don't think they've dropped that drastically quite yet. But he's only, I mean, you could grind towards getting an extra 100k. You are on PlayStation. So you could grind towards getting another 100k and then getting towards Hazard. This is only one one set of rewards and you've got Hazard right there. I, I would grind towards Hazard or again, maybe grinding towards Perez might be a good shout or uh, or someone of that caliber. Obviously, I think Perez is the only Perez and John Barnes are the only left sided wingers um, in icon sorts, which is why I'm recommending those so heavily. Um, but yeah, I'd say I'd say grind towards getting an Eden Hazard over there at left wing. Apart from that, I think your team is solid. Uh, how is De Bruyne playing at central camp? Uh, the next one, by the way, I appreciate that you guys are sending me in teams like this, but you've got to realize that I do say the rules all the time. I don't accept these 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 submissions. I, I simply don't. I personally do not think they look good on the video. Uh, the same with web app screenshots and phone screenshots. I know you guys always say, oh, but we can see this. We can see this. I personally want to make the best part. Like, I'm a perfectionist. I want my content to be perfect. I don't think it looks perfect, unfortunately. That, that's sort of why I don't include it. Um, but I appreciate the amount of you guys that have been replying to these people, telling them, you know, upload a HD screenshot and use a hashtag as hey, but you guys are dope. I appreciate that. Uh, the next one's coming from Jacob. Uh, I have 900k for uh, an untrained Tradables are the bench special cards apart from Hernandez. Okay, so Hernandez is tradable, the rest are untradable, um, and the bench is untradable. You've got 900,000 coins. Well, you've got a lot of coins to improve here then. Um, what I would do this team straight away, I would upgrade... I, per um, I mean, yeah, you've got Mbappé there. I see why you've got that card there. I guess what you could do, and this is not... This is actually not real... Hmm. I was going to tell you to go, to go and upgrade other players, but... I mean, it makes life difficult, doesn't it? I think the way you set this team out, like, I see that you want to use this right mid Politano because uh, obviously he's playing a, a cam for you. I see that you want to use Mbappé as well. Obviously, they're off chemistry. You could potentially upgrade to a better, like, a, a better icon somewhere. Uh, maybe go with a, another icon centre-back here because I'm not a big fan of Hernandez anymore. He used to be really OP, but recently when I've been playing against him, he's made silly mistakes. And that's, I think, just because he's an 84-rated player and that's sort of just how it goes for 84-rated players. Uh, I think, personally, yeah, upgrade... Luis and uh, Lu Luis Hernandez. What am I talking about? Upgrade. Uh, I think it's Theo Hernandez over here. Right. Uh, no, this is Lucas. Upgrade Lucas Hernandez and upgrade Neuer. Get yourself to Stegen and get yourself uh, for 900k. Get yourself uh, Baby Cannavaro at right centre back. I'm a massive fan of Baby Cannavaro. One of my favourite centre backs this year. Either that or Carlos Alberto, whichever one you prefer. Um, agile centre backs are fantastic this year, and I think that that would work really well for you. Um, and then I'd probably keep it as is until you want to get rid of Politano or Mbappé, to be honest. That's what I'd, I'd sort of work towards. Um, ultimately, you could upgrade Politano to a right uh, a right wing icon or something like that or maybe just a right wing from the Bundesliga but ultimately do you want to you really should have done Shakiri you should have done Shakiri Shakiri would have helped you out so much but Hindsight, hey, hindsight. Anyway, the next one's coming from Chris, who says, The whole bench De Gea, Mata, Vardy, Jao Cancelo, and Alderweireld are untradeable. I have 125,000 coins to spend. Willing to sell players. Uh, what do you recommend uh, me do? I am on Xbox as well. Love the vids. Keep the good work. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate that, man. Um, so you've got 125k to spend on your own Xbox. What would I do with this team? I would get rid of uh, Alderweireld over here, and i bring in um, Davinci Sanchez or Joe Gomez, whichever one you prefer. Um... I personally would also go to Jamie Vardy and I'd bring in uh, Aubameyang. Um, and I would also 
potentially look to get rid of Mata eventually. Obviously, this could be far in the future. Uh, but I think you could get a better cam than Mata eventually if you work towards getting yourself maybe a hero Firmino or whether you work to get yourself a De Bruyne or whether you work to get yourself someone of that caliber, maybe a, Luca, a Lucas Moura. Um, I think you sort of work towards that in the near future. But apart from that, I think your team is solid. Uh, I respect it. I really do. The next one coming from Jack, who said, I've already checked out Jack, haven't I? Yeah, he was the first person I checked out. Um, the next one coming from uh, Dot, uh, who is Mad Dog. He says, yo, here's my team. Second pick style playing game. Got 400k at the minute. Any upgrade suggestions? 400,000 coins. Are a lot of coins to upgrade. I would say, honestly, straight away, I would just upgrade the players you've got. Upgrade De Jong to a Team of the Year nominee or an informed version. Uh, upgrade Longley uh, to potentially like a Raphael Varane. Um, you know, I, I, I just just sort of going down that route. Uh, maybe if you can eventually afford upgrading uh, Usman, Dem or Usman Dembele. I don't know how much he goes for. Uh, the UCL Live version, oof, he's still madly expensive. Okay, well. That one's a little bit later on in the future. But uh, yeah, I just upgrade uh, the players you've got to better versions. You could even go with here at left at left centre, but you can even go with a uh, UCL version of, of El Air Militao if you want to save up the coins for him. He was really good for me. Um, but apart from that, I think the team's solid. And then it, I, I, I personally look towards icon swaps, um, maybe getting a Zambrotta from icon swaps, uh, maybe getting a Blanc from icon swaps, or uh, or maybe going the whole way and getting a Vieira or an Essien. Um, to improve the team massively. I, I would say work towards that, really. Apart from that, I think your team is solid. I like the colours as well. I, li I like how colourful the team is. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's definitely solid. Uh, the next one is going to come from Tim, who says he's got 800,000 coins to spend. It says absolutely nothing else. All right, well, I'm going to assume all the purple cards are the tradable cards and all the gold cards are not tradable. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm guessing Allison and Dybala are the only untradables in your team, are the only tradable cards in your team. 800,000 coins to upgrade. Uh, I would upgrade Dybala to an icon, to be honest. I would say, because um, you, you've sent me what you play in game, you play, he's playing at right cam. Uh, with 800,000 coins, I would upgrade him too if he's under 800k. Let me just double check. Baby Zola. Uh, oh, yeah, you can definitely afford him. Look at this card, man. This card's unreal. 90 pace, 91 dribbling, 85 shooting, 82 passing. This card will be great as a wide cam. I think you upgrade Dabala to this card. Uh, 100%. I think it's worth it. Very, very solid looking card. Apart from that, that team's built amazingly. I love how how well built this team is. Um, I love the links you've got with Dalbert. I love the links you've got with, with Juan Jesus, with Foyth. Uh, over there, was, we're getting the link to uh, Zanetti at right back. Then you've got the Argentines getting the link in the middle. I think it works really well, and I like the look of it. So, yeah, it's a really solid team, mate. That's, that's definitely one of the better ones I've seen. Uh, the next one is going to come from... Uh, a lot of these have been sent twice. Uh, Evan? Evan McCarran. I, uh, sorry if I, I messed that name up. I really do. I'm terrible with names. He said, Hi, Haber. I have 500k and will be doing all of the icon swaps. Only Albert is tradable. I have uh, have a good 2020. Well, thank you. I hope you have a good 2020 as well. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Uh, okay, so this is what you start and this is what you play in game. Okay. Well, I like I like you playing the 4 one 2 on 2 I think utilizing that formation is definitely solid. It is a good formation. Not entirely sure about Rivaldo, but... That can be upgraded. I would say with icon swaps coming, uh, what you could possibly work to improve, in my opinion, would be your cams. Um, I would say upgrade Rivaldo to Socrates from icon swaps and then get probably Hierro over here at left centre back for PK. Uh, I would say getting those two is definitely a good shout. Alternatively, if you really wanted to, you could actually get yourself over here at left CDM. You can just go and get Essien or Vieira. Uh, either would be massive improvements, uh, but I don't think that Paulinho is going to be as... Uh, like I don't think you'll notice an improvement as much upgrading Paulinho to Essien as you would upgrade maybe Rivaldo to Socrates. Or even maybe you, you want to go with Del Piero over Socrates or, or any of them, really. I just upgrade Rivaldo. I, I hated Rivaldo when I used him. I'm going to be honest. I really didn't like him at all. I thought he was absolutely awful. So that's sort of what I would do if I were you. Solid team, though. Really is. Uh, next one's coming from Ethan. All in tradable except Van Dyke, Allison, and Gomez. Love the vids. Thank you very much, man. 150k to spend, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 150k to spend. This, I like this right-hand side link. That's really, really cool. I thought EA bringing this card out was really dope. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, I think you could upgrade Henri to Pires, because you're not playing anything else in game, are you? I think you could upgrade Henri to Pires over here at left mid. Uh, that would definitely help you out. Um, get you a better left mid uh, over Henri. Henri's good, don't get me wrong, but I think Pires would be a lot better at left mid. And from what I've heard, Pires is fantastic. Uh, what else could, I, could you upgrade? Do I think you could upgrade with? Um, good question. Uh, I guess 
You could maybe go with like Sadorf. I think you could possibly go with like Sadorf over here. If you can get if you can get both Pyrrhus and Sadorf, then get Sadorf over here at right mid from Icon Swaps. Um, a lot of people are going to be hearing me saying, "Oh, get Sadorf," and they'll be like, oh, "This guy ain't got enough for Sadorf." Obviously, from Icon Swaps. Um, and then wait and see if we get a Joe Gomez re-release SBC, and if we do, then do that. Aside from that, I think the team's solid. Jack, please, 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 right? If I say I'm recording the episode in 20 minutes, which I did, don't <laughs> don't tweet me the team like five times in a 20 minute period, please. I beg. Anyway, the next one's coming from Tommy, who says, All untradeable but Ariola, Militao, and Allen got nothing right now, but I can save up. Who should I upgrade and what should I do going forward? Well, it's a solid team. Uh, and this is what you play in game, I'm guessing. Um, I'm not entirely sure about Paulinho. He's a left mid. Very interesting indeed. I see why you've got him for the links. I think you could upgrade Kante over here. I think you could possibly upgrade him. Now, how many coins do you say you had? You have nothing. I would I would go in icon swaps for either uh Del Piero, uh Hernandez, any of the striking options, whichever one you think is better. And then what I would do is I would play Trossard at left mid and that striker option up top with Paulinho playing his left centre mid. I think you'll definitely feel a massive uh, benefit with that, to be honest. Um because I don't think having a, a centre mid at left mid is a good idea, personally. Uh, the next one is coming from Poop Dealer, who says, King, uh, Okocha, and the bench are untradeable. Switch to 4 triple 2 in game. I have 100k uh, for grades. What are your suggestions? Okay. Um, weak links, in my opinion. King at CDM. Why? Like, why? Why on earth is King at CDM? That's, like, as someone put Benzema at CDM last episode, and now I'm going to check King just to make sure he hasn't got, like, ridiculously high defensive stats. Why? Okay. I would say, straight off the bat, I, I personally would would release Aguero from the squad. I would then... No, in fact, that's a complete lie. Keep Aguero. Get rid of Firmino. Get rid of Firmino for this squad. Firmino at Cam? No, 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 no. Get rid of Firmino in this squad. How many coins did you say you had? Uh, 100,000 coins? Oh, easy. Get rid of Firmino in this squad and bring in... Uh, either inform Fabinho or save towards Kante or uh, any any Premier League centre defensive mid. Play him, start him as Cam, and move him to your CDM spot in game, and and uh, and move uh, Sane to left Cam and King up top. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Why would you play a striker at CDM, guys? Come on, I give you more advice and more credit than this. You're embarrassing me now. I'm joking. I'm joking, by the way. Uh, the next one's going from Billy, who says, Hi, Saber. Uh, De Gea, Gerard, Salah, Mane, and the whole bench are untradeable. I've got a million to spend. I was wondering where I could upgrade. And also, who should I get from Icon Swaps? I'm willing to get all 24. Thanks very much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well, bud. Who should you get from Icon Swaps? Blanc, I think. I think you get Blanc. I think you go get Blanc. You get rid of Frankie Dion. You get Blanc in there. Um, I mean, I respect the fact that you thought you'd get the Liverpool, no, I'm joking, but I, I, the Liverpool link would be cool there, unfortunately, obviously, it's an icon and a gold card, doesn't actually get that link, but I, I think that is pretty cool, um, but yeah, I would go get Blanc as your left, uh, uh, is it your left CDM? Right CDM, um, yeah, I, or... Alternatively, you could go and get Vieira as well. That's another shout. You could go get Vieira. I prefer Blanc because he's better at playing the ball and, and moving forward and stuff, but you could just go get Vieira, whichever one you prefer, um, and play him as right CDM. Apart from that, I think the team is, is fantastic. Then, ultimately, it's just upgrading your players to better versions, whether we get Team of the Year uh, Van Dyke, Team of the Year Robertson, Team of the Year Salah, etc., etc. Just upgrade them to the better version of their players, really. Uh, the next one's from Luke, who says, I have 160 to sp 160k to spend, and I start in the 4 2 3 1 and go to the 4 and 2 and 2 in game. Depay, Griezmann, Decore and, uh, are the only intradables. I'm getting Hierro from Icon Swaps. Love the vids, give the good work. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Um, are you only getting Hierro from Icon Swaps, or are you open to suggestions? Because I would go and get possibly uh, Sadorf and get rid of Decore for Sadorf. Um, and then I'd also probably get rid of Renny Adelaide for literally anyone. Get a Dutch player up there. Get get Inform Marlon up there. When you get Sadolf left cam and Inform Marlon as striker, and uh, and you're laughing, mate. You're laughing. Uh, next one coming from Luca Pamic. Albert Allison party untradeable. Uh, sorry, are tradable. The rest is untradable. I plan to get Kante, and if I sell everything, I could. Uh, like informs some higher rated players who I've got. I have 150, 200k Nestor and Balaka from Icon Swaps, uh, Omri and Besta from Icon SBC. Okay, you're doing pretty well in Icon SBC then. Um, I love the fact you've got Malqui. I don't know about uh, Modric as a cam. I just don't think that would work. 
Uh, so you're playing him as Cam in one formation and you're playing him as centre mid in the other. So I, I get him at centre mid. Totally understand that. Uh, I just... Okay, this is the same. Okay, now I get it. Don't think Modric is a Cam though. I would possibly go for Del Piero in icon swaps. Start him as middle centre mid. Play him as Cam. Because he gets the link with Rebic then. I, I respect the um I respect the link there. I, I totally understand it. I just don't think it'd work. Uh personally, just in my opinion. Uh, but apart from that, alternatively, you could also try and save yourself some time, not go for icon swaps, and you could go and move Rebic to right centre mid, move Balak to um, middle centre mid, then you can go with literally anyone at striker that can play as a cam. Uh, and you sort it in that in that respect as well. The last team for the episode is going to be coming from Mark, who has been submitting his team for so long now. I thought I would feature it just because he's bugging me on Twitter every single time now. Upset because I don't feature him. I am featuring you now. You don't even need... You just want to flex your squad. That's all you want to do, Mark. Oh, here. Here is the flex. Enjoy, enjoy the flex of your squad. He's got 4 million coins left as well, by the way. These traders these days, man, they just can't get enough of it, can they? <laughs> uh, what to do with your squad, mate? I don't know why you've got Ramos over here. I would personally get either uh, Prime Cannavaro, Baby Cannavaro, uh, Baby Carlos Alberto, Prime Desai, Prime Blanc, any centre back you want to go with here. Um, I'd also uh, pot. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't upgrade either Messi or Mbappe. I think they're both solid as well. Um, I would then just sort of look to wait towards, wait till you can afford uh, mid Hullet over here at left CDM. And then I think your team is absolutely perfect. That's a, an amazing team. And that's where we're going to end off this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you all for the epic support in 2019. You guys were epic. Uh, and, and here's to an amazing, hopefully an amazing 2020. I uh, really appreciate all the support, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching and supporting and liking. And, uh, and, and I'll see you later.